I don't know where he is, but um, we'll see if he comes back or not. So, oh, ew, this one's really gross. Oh. So this is my um, plastic retainer that's kind of like, what do you call those? Invisalign that I got um, when I got my braces off. I keep it, but this needs to get washed. This is nasty. So we're going to put that up there. This is Drysol. You use it on your underarms if you are an excessive sweater. And I have had excessive sweat. Sometimes in middle school I had it. I had it some part of high school and then I had it again on and off in college. And it's pure aluminum chloride with some other things in it. And I, aluminum's not good for you. And I've always kept it, you know, just in case. But now I've learned to just wear like sleeveless tops and kind of deal with it without using these types of products. And this is still pretty full, it's probably right to here. But I'm just gonna get rid of this because I don't feel comfortable with it on my underarms anymore. And honestly, when you use it, it makes my underarms itch so bad as a bad reaction. That's clearly my body saying that it's not okay to use. And I feel like we as people and we as women need to be comfortable with who we are and we shouldn't have to use some sort of product just because we struggle with something like excessive sweat. We just find a way to deal with it. So this is gone. We have some toothpastes in here. I do take these um, on my overnights when I do my master's program, so I'll leave them in here. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I will keep them. I'm also going to put back in the soap. This is a medicine. These are extra razors. I haven't actually bought razors. I just use my husband's because he doesn't use these anymore. So this one's coming out and it's going in here. And men's razors are so much better because they just last a lot longer. They're meant for that like thicker hair. So since women don't have that thicker hair, or not all women do, and certainly not as thick as like men's beards, it tends to last a lot longer. I'm gonna go ahead and put these Q-tips in here. This is like a big question mark that probably should just go in the other thing. Floss, we don't use this kind of floss. It's a sample size. I hate to just throw it away. Oh, I'm just gonna keep it, I guess. I really don't use it. I don't like that stuff. Okay. And I was also putting in my first aid kit. I guess I still can. This is a problem with this area. Like, we just don't have a good system. Oh, you're back! How was that? Wait. <laughs> yeah! I was looking for you. I, I take it you did not hear the turkeys. No. <laughs> I'm really sorry that that happened to you. I did go looking for you, but I, I didn't was, know where to look. I was way up out back. I figured maybe you were in the woods and maybe it wouldn't have affected you so much. No, I got out of the woods so I could heal better. Oh, I'm sorry. Now you're just really wet. I'm just doing this mess. That's fine. Hey, while you're here, um, what do I do with this? Is this a time where we use this? It's cooling lotion. Better yet? Would you rather keep that one and get rid of the big one? Uh, is this going to last long enough? You don't use a lot. Are you sure? Yeah. I or, was thinking we could put it with that one. No, either keep one or the other. Well, would it make sense to keep the little one or the bigger one? Probably the little one. Yes. How often do you use it? Besides never. Only when we shave the bottom underneath my chin. Like is this like a sample size? It came with one of my kits. Okay, I'm just going to put this over here and we can decide after. We can keep that one. Okay. We can get rid of the other one. Okay. What are you going to do? I don't know at the moment. <laughs> Is that like you're admitting defeat? I'm going to ponder life. You're going to ponder life. 
Why? Because Jesus told you that you can't go looking for turkeys right now? I'm sorry, baby. Okay, well, can I keep on doing my video? Of course. Okay. Of course, because I'm cleaning. Okay, so this one is like backups and they're not really toiletries. I don't know, like first aid. So there's that. This one is a really big mess and is supposed to be like things we don't grab for super often. So I have my curling iron, which I barely use, but I still keep it because I do use it from time to time. Those are like, this is one of the things that I do keep. We're just gonna, yeah. Okay, so that stays in there. I also like to keep the toothbrush charger in here because it kind of fits with the theme of the hair thing. This is a toothbrush case that I only use when we travel. And toothbrush tips that we only change every three months. So that also went over there. And loofahs, which again, we don't change super often. We do change them, but not super often. So that's going to go in there too. And I think that's it. I do have these that were over here, but again, now it's just looking messy. Hmm. Okay, but well we're going to go with it. So this last container is all of our medicine, which you can see is kind of a giant mess. And the last time I went through this, I was kind of disgusted by how much medicine we have. But there's so many different types that we don't always use. So it's hard to keep this organized. So, yep. Just because we do that. Okay, so we have these pills, which are for if you're lactose intolerant. And those are important to have separate so that we can grab for them super easy. So I'm going to put all those back in here. Oh look, a toothbrush head. That goes in this other one. We have gas X pills. We don't keep it closed. It's got like this weird sticky thing on it. Okay, that just happened. This one I did have like this, and I'm wondering if this one should kind of be in the front, and like this one should be on the side, and maybe it'll get less messy that way, and then this one can go in the back. That way we can see more medicine. Maybe that would help. I wish this could fit here, but I can't. Okay, so I have the gas X. And what's nice about this is it does leave room over here to put that, and also we have our cold and flu medicine. When does this expire? Okay, it expires next year. So we'll get used to that. Oh, all this medicine. So I have cold and flu relief and more cold and flu relief. So we're just going to combine. Seven. Okay, so we have this, but honestly, that's gross and we don't need it. I don't know if I'm in frame. Um, so we're just going to get rid of that. So like this is aloe gel, which to me isn't really medicine. It's like for a specific thing like burns, but I still want to keep it in there because we don't have the room to differentiate for this stuff. I'll leave. I'll put that over here too. But I have other things like allergy relief that I can't remember. I thought I had allergies, but I didn't. Hey, babe, do you use allergy relief? Mm. Or should I just get rid of it? I don't usually have allergies. 
But I think if we come down with it, we just go buy some. Do you know anyone who could benefit from this? Actually, I'll save it and see if my sister needs it because she's coming Sunday. Right. Okay. She's the only person because her and her boyfriend both have allergies. Okay, so we have... What is this? Okay, so we have a sleep aid and another one. What's this? Oh, heartburn. Is it bad that I'm asking what's this for everything? Okay, wait, this says something different, but it's an acid reducer. Whew, there's so many types. Another acid reducer. That's this stuff. Again, this would be the time to make sure everything's not expired. So this stuff is amazing because I get cold sores at least twice a year, and I hate them. But a Breva, which is kind of expensive, it's like $19 or $20. If you catch the cold sore quick enough, it really does shorten the lifespan of it. So like you might have a cold sore for two weeks or a week and a half, but with this stuff, it lasts actively probably four to seven days depending on when you catch it. So that's important. This stuff is for productive coughs. Oh, and this is the other, we have two of them still. I wonder if I can fit. Oh, not quite. Darn it. When you can combine like terms, it's always nice. Okay. This stuff is amazing because I have random leg cramps now, and this is a homeopathic version of how to relieve it, which my husband introduced me to. Um, it basically helps with like, it feels like growing pains. So I use that quite a bit, but I like this homeopathic. Okay, date. So this is the burn stuff and this is the bug stuff, but it's still technically a medicine. And then this holds the thermometer, which is becoming more important because we have to take our temperature no matter where we go now. Cold medicine. I feel like cold medicine should go over there because it's seasonal. But I don't really have room for it over there. Uh, here's the problem. Finding room for things. Okay, so I realized I didn't touch the liners, and these I actually don't have to use super often, so they're going to go over here. Babe, should we keep these um, vitamin C supplement drops? Uh, we don't take them. Yeah, you think we should just get rid of them? Either get rid of them or start taking them. I'm probably not going to start taking them. Are you going to start taking them? No. Okay. That's why I'm going to be. Oh, I see. Well, I figured maybe you'd motivate me to take them and then we'd both be taking them. It's just not the time of year anymore to take them. What about this open pack of 5% menthol cold hot patch? It's like an icy hot. Oh, yeah. We'll keep that. Keep that? Same with heat therapy patches, neck pain. Yep. We probably should be using these for you right now. I don't know where to keep these because you don't use them often, but they're technically like, I don't know, they're not really, are they like first aid? I guess they can squeeze in here. See, that's the problem. I start saying they can squeeze in and then I run out of room. I've also been keeping these Steri strips. I guess I can put them in our first aid kit. Honestly, these cough drops aren't really any good anymore. Okay, so now the dilemma of this isn't even enough cold medicine for like anything. Oral relief sore throat spray. 
Uh, check the date. Expires 22. I mean, we do use it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You want me to keep it? Yeah, it, it is nice not to go get it. It's pretty disgusting, but... I know, but it works. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's going to go there. I have literally one trash bag. So after this trash bag is over, we're just not going to use trash bags for our trash, right? What? I have one trash bag left for the bathroom, but you were saying how we don't really need a trash bag for this trash can. Like, we can just wash it. Yeah, or we can use... The plastic. Use what, babe? The, the plastic grocery bag. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put these, which are acid reducers, over here. And I have, like, loose stuff that, honestly, I'm just going to throw in here even though I don't want to. I guess I could put them in baggies. Yeah, that's probably smart. Okay, we will get baggies. Okay, so now these actually have, like, an easy home. Again, it's not like the nicest looking, but it works, especially for what we have. And actually, I feel like we're doing better on medicine now. I feel like we don't have as much as we did before. So now we can get all the medicine. I'm not like looking through this whole thing. Okay, ready for the tour? So all our medicines are up front, so we can see them all, even though I know I'm the one who usually goes in and gets to the medicine. But if you need it, there it is. This is like our backup stuff or the, like first aid kit. So we have uh, da, 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 Q tips, first aid kit, then like our extra soap deodorant, blah blah blah. Then back here's the stuff that we don't use very often, which is like our toothbrush tops, the loofahs, and that's about all you'll be grabbing because you're not going to curl hair. Okay. Good job, baby. Okay, that's all. Okay. Okay. Love you. I love you. Oh, I need to clean this one up. Okay, that retainer's cleaned. 